We now solve this uh, trigonometric equation that is uh, cos 2x plus sine squared x equals 4 by 9 where x lies between 0 and 360 degree. So to solve this uh, trigonometric equation we have a uh, cos of 2x plus uh, sine squared x. So basically we can convert this cos 2x uh, in terms of sine x and uh, solve for uh, sine x and then we can solve for x. So here I'm going to use the double angle identity for cos 2x. Uh, there are about uh, four double angle identities for uh, cos 2x. I'm using uh, one of them that is uh, cos 2x is equal to 1 minus of uh, 2 sine squared x. So here I replace the uh, cos 2x as 1 minus of 2 sine squared x plus uh, we already have the sine squared x. So this becomes uh, plus sine squared x equals uh, 4 over 9. Let's simplify this. These two are like terms, that is negative 2 sine squared x plus positive sine squared x. This will give negative sine squared x. So therefore, we have 1 minus of uh, sine squared x. This equals uh, 4 by 9. I'm now going to solve for sine squared x. So sine squared x, this equals 1 minus of 4 by 9. And this simplifies to 1. We can write down this as 9 over 9 minus of uh, 4 over 9. So this gives a 9 minus 4 is a 5 over 9. So we get the equation sine squared x equals 5 over 9. We then take the square root on both sides so that we get a sine x first. So sine x is basically square root of 5 over 9 is plus or minus square root of 5 and divided by square root of 9 is 3. So we get the equation sin x equals either plus or minus root 5 over 3. And this means uh, we have uh, two equations that is uh, sin x equals uh, positive root 5 over 3. This is uh, one equation. And uh, another equation is uh, sin x equals uh, negative root 5 over 3. So to solve for x, we have to take the sine inverse. So basically we can find the reference angle so that we can solve both this equation. So I'm going to first find the reference angle by considering only the positive quantity. Though we have a negative quantity here and both are numerically same, we consider this as a positive quantity and then take only the sine inverse of the positive quantity. So we do like this. This is uh, x equals sine inverse of root 5 over 3. This will give the reference angle. So let's say that this is x reference. So we can plug this into the calculator and when we do that, uh, we get uh, x equals 48.19 degree. Make sure that uh, the degree is in, uh, angle is in degree mode. So now that we found the reference angle, we can find the other possible solution where x uh, is uh, between 0 and uh, 360 degree. So let's consider the first equation that is uh, sin x is positive root 5 over 3. And this means uh, uh, sin x is positive in uh, quadrant 1 as well as, sorry about it, quadrant 1. Okay, I just uh, moved it uh, down. So it is positive in quadrant 1 as well as in uh, quadrant 2. So when it lies in quadrant 1, it is exactly the reference angle. That is, this is one of the angle. And when it lies in quadrant 2, we have to uh, do x equals 180 degrees minus the reference angle. That is x reference. So we do this. That is uh, 180 degrees minus of reference angle is uh, 48.19 degree. And this gives 131 point eight one degree so this is uh, another angle so these are the two values of x when uh, sin x is positive in quadrant one and quadrant two now let's consider the another equation that is sin x is negative it is negative in uh, quadrant three as well as in uh, quadrant four so when it is negative in quadrant three we write down the angle as uh, x equals 180 degree plus the reference angle. So we can add the reference angle to 180 degree. That is 180 degree plus x reference is 48.19 degree. 
So when we add them together, we get uh, 228.19 degree. And finally, if it lies in the fourth quadrant, we say that uh, x equals uh, 360 degree minus of the reference angle, that is x reference. So let's do this calculation. This equals uh, 360 degree minus of reference angle is uh, 48.19 degrees. And this gives 311.81 degree. So let me write down all the solutions of uh, solving this uh, trigonometric equation. So we have the angles as uh, x equals uh, 48.19 degrees. Comma, the next one is 131.81 degree. The next one is 228.19 degree. And finally, we have this 311.81 degree. So this is the complete solution set of solving the trigonometric equation.